Something that many students reach for in the school day is caffeine. According to Better Health Channel, caffeine is a stimulant, which means it increases activity in your brain and nervous system. Like many other drugs, it is possible to build a tolerance to caffeine, which means you'll need bigger and bigger doses to achieve the same effect. Let's see how Timberland feels about energy drinks. I'm not a big fan of the energy drinks. It's just, uh, I'm a coffee guy. Uh, yeah, I do uh, occasionally. I try to stay away from them because I know they're not that good for me, but whenever I do choose one, I like ghost energy drinks the most. I do think that artificially um, managing my energy is not super wise because it takes control away from my body and relying on uh, things like energy drinks and caffeine supplements or even on the other end of it things like melatonin uh, or ambience uh, definitely take control away from me and my mindset of being able to uh, naturally control when I have energy. I drink a lot because I am really bad at sleeping so it like helps me move. I think that they are very bad for you and that I shouldn't be drinking them all the time, but they also taste really good and get me through the day. So I do drink them all the time. So I, I do drink energy drinks and I drink them because I work a lot and I go to school. So balancing that out doesn't really give you a whole lot of sleep. So sometimes it's just easier to drink an energy drink than try and get those extra couple hours of sleep. And then uh, I think my favorite brands are probably like Rain and like one or two of the ghosts. In a survey conducted among the student and faculty body, it was found that 53% drink energy drinks and 47 do not. The majority of these people drink them moderately at one to three times a week. And in a landslide victory, Monster Energy Drink won the most popular. So I do not drink energy drinks. I think they have too much caffeine in them. I prefer to stay under 100 milligrams a day and that's the recommended dosage and most of them are between 100 and 200 milligrams and I just think that's too much. I don't want to be addicted to caffeine. Um, I want to make sure that I keep my heart healthy and you know my body healthy. I don't mostly because I just don't like the taste. They kind of burn. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> There are many brands of energy drinks available, all with varying caffeine dosages, so it is important to check nutrition facts and read health warnings before consuming to keep yourself within a healthy amount and don't endanger yourself in case of any outstanding medical conditions. I've kind of quit since, you know, I used to drink them every single day, 24-7, and um, it just, you know, I wasn't feeling great. It made me kind of lazy and overall just took a toll on my body that I noticed, so I just stopped drinking them. And uh, I only drink them every once in a while, so yeah, they're bad for your heart. Don't drink them. They're not good for you. Um, I drink them really whenever I'm about to play volleyball. I don't like drink them like just like to get my day started because I feel like that's like pointless. Like it's like too much energy for like you're just going to school. I enjoy them even though they make me anxious. So sometimes I choose not to drink them because they like give me more anxiety, but they do wake me up and they taste good sometimes. I don't. I, it just, even though they can be really helpful for some people, for me it makes me crash even faster than when I don't have them, so I just don't tend to drink them. Caffeine is a tool to help you stay awake and alert, but it is also a health risk to be taken responsibly. This has been Aiden Storms on the Street. Back to the studio.